I don't understand why nobody's talking about it. I don't oh. understand why nobody's outraged about that because I find it disgusting and I hope she's... And, thing, and the thing is as well with that, kids watch Eek. I know probably young people watch Eek. Oh, of course they do. The liar. She's got her own catchphrases. She's got her own merch, you know, yeah. all over TikTok. But yet then there she is with this new boyfriend making the most disgusting videos and then each to their own. If you want to do that, that's fine. Keep it in the adult world. Don't you advertise it on TikTok. You go on OnlyFans if you're that, if you're that into it, you know? Yeah, well, that's what she's advertising, though, you see, on TikTok. She's oh, advertising but, that yeah, on there's, there's, but there's a bunch of people that, uh, uh, obviously, obviously, when you go on people's lives now, there's a bunch of people that have got, like, obviously... Only, I'm going to say only friends because you're not really supposed to say that. Mm -hmm. that word. Oh, yeah, there's loads of them. There's loads of them that are on TikTok. Uh -huh. and, and, but advertising it and, and EQ advertising that to so many people. On every night, 8 o'clock, she will advertise that. And I think, wow, that's disgusting. Like, she's showing you where the link is. Go and see uh, Despicable Things, my darlings. Oh, yes, you'll see this and you'll see that. You'll see it going in and out, darlings. Do we need to hear that? Do, yeah, you're yeah. supposed to be doing an FYP show. And it's yeah. just, just that, that Bella is just as weird. These weirdos, absolute weirdos, right? Each to their own, go and do it, but put it on an adult website. Keep it off TikTok because it makes me want to vomit. Go on, put it on. Put it on. So, go, if she wants to do it. that, go and promote it on X and go and promote it on the sites that you post to promote it on. No, yet. she's not joking, Pamela. She's she's not joking. No, she's not. She's honestly not joking. I'm actually <laughs> outraged. I can't believe that someone could do that and 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 just think that's okay. That's disgusting. And she does it every night, and I can't believe nobody's talking about it. People will put all over the FYP page, like people like bullies and um, just ridiculousness that's going on, body shaming, um, uh, toxicity, but nobody's going to put the most absolute vile thing that's happening on the app at the moment, which is EQ promoting all sorts. On well, our, on, and, 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 our, and honestly, my jaw hits the floor, and I'm like, and there she is. But then she'll go, yeah, darling, go and have a look. Me and Jack recorded one last night. Oh, choo choo, bang, oh. bang, bang. Thank you for the train, bang, bang, bang. And our waffles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, 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 you, you're not supposed to do it. Like, it, it's against the law what she's doing. You're not allowed to do that. But yeah, she, you've got to have a gambling license or something like that. Or, but she doesn't. She's just, she's allowed to do what she wants. I think people like that, it, it, not being rude, I think that TikTok should regulate it a bit better. And oh, definitely. You get three strikes and then you're banned for good. No, they bring too much money to the app, so, so TikTok just turn a blind eye until they really have to do something. But then when they do do something, the, 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 the creators just find another way of getting around it. But so she wasn't... Got... Miss Blondie, explain to me, or, or everybody, explain to me, because I'm new to TikTok. Uh -huh. What? Obviously, I go on. I've been on a couple of lives, obviously, with Daily <laughs> and Hicks, and I've really enjoyed it. But <laughs> what, what? People are getting paid. What? How, how do they get paid? What? What? <laughs> Well, I'm basically, people, I mean, people join agencies. I don't, uh, as far as I understand, agencies don't pay them. Some agencies may pay them, depending on how big the TikToker is. Um, but they will get paid through subs, through gifts. Um, I mean, EQ gets, uh, I think she's got over a thousand subs. So, um, and that's like three pound a month, uh, TikTok take a percentage. She'll get over about a thousand pound a month just in her subs. Okay, so she, people have to subscribe to her channel. But they don't have to. Um, they don't have to subscribe, but um, they will, she's got a subscription service on her channel. Um, but what she does is she brings the views in through TikTok um, to, to, as a gateway to promote all of her other filthy things that she does behind the scene, um, which I like to say, each to their own. But I just, yeah. you don't advertise it on TikTok. You know, you don't go on, you don't go on um, to to other television <laughs> sites or what, whatever and sit in where children can see and you get that advertised. I just think my little boy sits on TikTok, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, through things. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's just, it's crazy. 
years ago, like my son used to play roadblocks. Yeah. Um, and I had to be really careful because even, um, are you allowed to say the P word? Um, no, people say pedalo on here. Pedalo, <laughs> yeah. brilliant. Okay. So, but I had to monitor him because there were, there were pedalos going in and pretending to be other children. Lucky. Oh, yeah. It's rife on there. It's absolutely rife. Raw blocks and blocks fruits and stuff like yeah. that, like luckily, the things on the Xbox and stuff. Mm -hmm. luck luckily, my son's autistic, so he won't communicate with anybody. Oh, my my little boy's autistic as well, but he, he does communicate. Um, oh, he, c he can communicate, but if yeah. someone like on the app uh -huh. to talk to him, he wouldn't talk to him. Yeah, well, that is a good thing. But you see, there's a lot of children that would just respond. I mean, my little boy would respond. My little boy would be very trusting and um, he would, he likes to, um, he's very clever. He likes to talk about his own interests and stuff like so that sort of thing. So he would just start talking away and he's vulnerable. Um, yeah, but even, absolutely, I agree. And, and um, they use that. Oh, well, yeah, they definitely use it. And that's why our children can't be children anymore. No, <laughs> they can't. It's, um, we have to tell them about the dangers out there, of stranger danger yeah. and stuff like that. And that's what frightens me about the world we live in today. Yeah, it is, it is frightening. It is frightening and it drives me mad and it makes me sick. And there's some people on TikTok that just enable all of this behaviour. And, um, and I wonder who's just going to stop it. Who's eventually going to stop it? But I really don't know. I mean, I've actually witnessed, <laughs> I was in Tenerife. Um, a while ago, and uh, <coughs> DG, Deco, um, Evil Queen, and a few other of them were in Tenerife at the same time. And uh, they were constantly on the strip. And I overheard EQ talking so much because you can't help but hear her. She's like a foghorn, right? Well, and that's like me. Uh, she's, but she's, but uh, the mouth on her is disgusting like the way she speaks she says it's an act it's not it is actually her like that's what she is like like i didn't hear like them um, that dj deco talking the way she did he's a normal he just seems like an absolute normal lad him like he, he really does but that thing is god knows what Knows what, because she is the most disgusting, vile-mouthed um, and biggest enabler on this app, she is. Uh, a lot of people try and mimic her. I, I feel as though this Bella's trying to mimic some kind of way that evil queens went on, because a lot of people do try and mimic her and get away with toxic behaviour um, and say it's enough. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's what I was about to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's obviously been taking tips or watching EQ yeah. and thinking, well, I can make my money that way. Oh, definitely. You, you see, it's like a big domino effect. And that's what I see when I see that Bella sat there. Um, she just reminds me of, of an EQ impersonator, really. Um, a lot of people do it. I mean, I'm sure we're the sort of the many people that's doing this on the app that you don't get to see because they don't get many views. But... This woman's ended up getting 600 to 800 views in her live, going on like an idiot this morning. So, oh. she, she wants she wants a Christmas bow. That's why she's, that's why she's dressed up with sticking stuff up her up her top to make him look bigger and and put a wig on. But actually, she's scrawny and she's got brown hair. <laughs> and there's not one thing. I don't think even in her personality, anyone could say, actually, she's misunderstood. I think she's just a narcissist. And oh. Claire Duffy, I did say that thing. Yeah, uh -huh. um, take that as how you want to take it. Uh, you know, I called her a thing because she is a thing. Yeah. She, yeah. she is actually a thing because she's a human being, doesn't go on like that. Um, don't try and turn it around as if I'm being transphobic or anything like that because I'm not. Otherwise, I wouldn't refer to her as she. So don't. Just don't. I hate it when people on this app just try and... They're, they're listening, but they're not listening for uh, any good reason other than to try and pick up on a word that you're going to say and then turn it into a massive hate campaign. I'll be honest. In today's society, you can't say anything without offending people. Like on Daily Antics yesterday... Um, a lady came in um, 
and Queenie obviously was saying ab about um, about coloured boys being obviously assessed for autism. Yeah. And then a, a lady came on and said, coloured, well, what, what colour? Pink, green, green. And she took offence to Queenie uh -huh. saying coloured. And it's like, well, you know, one minute you want, I mean, my son, my son's godfather, he's Jamaican. Uh -huh. And we talk about this. And he says, actually, I'm not black. I'm brown. Yeah. Do you know what? I was, I was there yesterday when that was picked up on. And I wasn't yeah. too happy about it because the lady that said coloured, she wasn't saying, she wasn't being racist, she wasn't being horrible, she wasn't being negative whatsoever. People need to stop jumping down people's throats every two seconds because yeah. um, they've said a word that they may, they, and do you know what it is? Nine times out of ten, that person who's, who's bringing it up doesn't even find it offensive. They're just looking for something to say to somebody else to cause uproar. Yeah. Or some yeah. clout for whatever. You can, it, it's common sense when, when someone's being racist and, and you can tell when someone's being racist, but when some people just use a word and, it, and, and the, they're not meaning it in, the, in that, you know, if she wanted to be racist, she could have said something a lot worse than yes. coloured. Yes. And, yeah. and I said, I come on the live because we are colours. If I was, right, so for example, I'm a white woman. At the moment, I'm brown because I keep going on the sunbed. If I don't go on the sunbed, I will go white. Yeah. But, and we're yeah. using colours, so I'm, I'm using colours to describe, you know, the, the, yeah. we need to just, we need, there's a fine line um, and, and the line just needs to stop being, like, people need to stop saying people are crossing that line when they're not. And yeah. because it's going to affect people's mental health. People don't dare say anything. Yeah, anymore. yeah absolutely. But what I wanted to agree with was what <laughs> we were saying was um, obviously about, obviously her, her, boys, her boys black. Um, and I think Stoney said the penny dropped with her and the penny dropped with me. When I've been to CAMS, obviously with my son, because you know my son's autistic and ADHD, mm -hmm. I've not seen many black children there. So, it, I, and, and I think, I, to be honest, it's to do with local authorities and schools. Schools don't want to refer them to children because it comes out of their budget. And unfortunately, I mean, I have fought since my child was in year three, um, and I have fought and fought and fought. And luckily, I am one of the winners, and he is in a specialised setting or a resort setting where they're teaching him life skills about relationships, what's you know, like about yeah. the internet, what's acceptable, what what what's not acceptable, because. Yeah. You can't do anything without offending anyone these days. No, you can't. You can't. Um, and people need to just... People need to just... I don't know. Just to um, say, Mark... Mark, you said CAMS do nothing, in my opinion. CAMS actually stands for can't actually help make sorry. I honestly think that they are some of the problems. If they don't like you... They won't help you. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep going and going. And, and once you show them, you ain't going to roll over because this is your baby. This is their future. This is their <laughs> education. Education is a basic human right. And most schools are failing children with additional needs just because they can't be bothered to invest a bit of time into them. And all those children that would have come, I mean, my child is turning into a nice young man and I'm proud of him because there are times where I never thought we'd get this far. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, and good. I'm glad that your son's, um, your son's thriving because a lot of children don't get to thrive. I mean, my son is, I have to admit, um, he was diagnosed at an early age, um, 
I mean, to be quite honest with you, with my son's autism, he's, he's just very, very clever. Um, he has his quirks, he has his ways. Um, he, yeah, he's I call, fantastic. Him, I call him quirks. Yeah, yeah just quirks, just yeah. his ways, you know, it's yeah. not... Um, He's not so much different to everybody else, to be honest with you. My, my son is, is very technology-minded. So when he was little, I yeah. don't know how young your son is. Like dog, I have a dog. Should I steal a dog's ball? The two brothers, two, they were, um, I think they were pointers. They were either pointers or, um, what do you call them again? Visas, I think they were visas. Hungarian Charlie, visas. would you mute yourself, Dan? Yeah, but why was he in, if it was two of them, why was he in amongst them? Um, uh, anyway, um, so I can't even, I've, I've forgotten, what, what, so I don't know how your, how your, your son is, but I banned my child from you, and he found the back door. He's a lot younger than him. Sorry, I can't hear you, sweetheart. Um, I was saying... Sorry, when, my apologies, go ahead, my apologies, go on. That's okay, my lovely. Um, when he was young, when he was about five, um, he was really into YouTube because he used to watch um, people build things. He was really obsessed by that, watching people build Lego. Um, okay. But then he started obviously scrolling and things were coming up I didn't like. So I banned him. <laughs> he actually found a back door into it. He's so clever with technology, it's unbelievable. That's my, that is, that is, they are, they're really, really clever. They're really, really clever. Um, they're cleverer than us. Life educates me on a daily basis. Yeah, they're cleverer than us. Like people say, you have to work smarter, not harder. Mm. So I, I like have a downtime on the internet, so he gets downtime. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe we've gone from this fella uh, oh, around, 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 the, uh, around the circles, around the houses, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely needs, I think TikTok needs a, a three strike and you're off for good. Yeah, I believe that. So somebody's just mentioned in the comments, um, are you, I'm, it, it, I'm not obviously digging you out or having a go at anything, but are you a fan of Angie on the app? Angie? Yeah. No, I, I have no idea who Angie is. Who's oh, that? Uh, no, somebody's just said in the, um, in the comments that you were a Delulu fan. So I was just wondering if you were a fan of Angie, because I'm interested um, well, to I'll speak to people who are a... My son set mm -hmm. up this TikTok. Right. Uh -huh. So he's probably followed loads of people. I have no idea who they are. And <laughs> I will be going through them and getting rid of them and putting my people that I want to talk to on it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's uh, she's not um, she's not the best of people on this app. To, uh, Her name? Uh, she's called Delisa Vanji. She's. Um, She's she's one up there with one of the most toxic people on this app as well. She's she just sits and drinks red wine until her teeth turn black and screams at people. Um, the lies. lies. The loose, the elusive Angie. Yeah. Right. How do I know it sounds stupid? How how do I go in it from here? Um, oh, I'm not. I don't think you'd be able to. I think you would have to just have a look uh, when you get off when you so get out of the box. So I know it sounds stupid. You go obviously on your profile. You go into your followers. Can you search a follower and then unfollow them? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Right. Okay. Because like I say, I'm totally new to this. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I don't know how any of it works. But obviously, I've really enjoyed the past couple of lives. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think we're all open minded. Yeah. Um, and I and I think we're not afraid to call people out and say you know you know, say what's right and what's wrong um and people, you know Well this the the, the live yesterday was based um on the way Gem Z and Ord been behaving. Yeah, and, that's uh, how it all started, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I, I had to leave yesterday because people just uh, would not let anybody else speak. But a girl came in um, saying that, uh, so basically, 
would had I would say Jem Zeno come onto the live. As soon as Jem Jem Zeno dropped, this girl jumped in and said, "Well, I think uh, you've got to. Everybody has to give her respect for what she's just done. Uh, she's just come on and she's just addressed everybody and blah blah blah." Nobody had a second to say what they thought about what Gemma had just done or said, because she just jumped on and jumped down everybody's throat that was in the was in the box, which I didn't agree with. Um, yeah, she will come up. Gemma will come up. Gemma loves anything like so that. And as you'll have seen, after Gemma came up on to the live, she went live herself and started talking utter bullshit. Now she was saying, ah, this man, he makes uh, he makes a live about me and then uh, and now I'll be able to date him. He's, uh, he's saying I'm respectable for what I'm standing on my business and this, that and the other. And she's laughing her head off and she's like, yeah. And then she starts... Um, battling people saying oh did you know that there's an absolute there's a massive live about me and she was buzzing off it and she was like and she, she was doing exactly what we were talking about in the live after she'd come on which i just found bizarre she probably belittled the host even though the host had been reasonable with her um on her own live i i found it apps i just i don't know i just found it absolutely bizarre and then a lady called Queenie came on and it became the Queenie show. So I left again. <laughs> yeah, it, but isn't, it, I mean, doesn't Jim Zeno do a, 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 I know it sounds stupid, but doesn't she do a lot of, like, kind of acting to, to get... Um, yeah, yeah, she does do that. And, she, and, and, and I mean, even her answer to what I asked her, so I said to her, given the fact that you've just admitted that you've manipulated for gifts... What would you say to the people over these last four years that didn't know they were being manipulated and gifted you out of the goodness of their heart? Her response to that was, um, what I'll tell them is, come on, get your money. Come on, TikTok, get your money and go. Don't trust anybody. Don't do this. Don't do that. And I thought, that's not even a response to the people who have come on here and gifted you under false pretenses. That's not even an answer. But yet then this girl comes up and tells everybody that we should respect what she's just said. Well, we know we shouldn't because she wasn't talking to those vulnerable people that come on TikTok not to be a creator. People don't, because most people don't come on TikTok to make money. She spoke to those people as if those people were going to come on, make money, do this, be brutal, don't trust no one, blah, blah, blah. Well, that wasn't even a response to me. That wasn't even an answer to those people that sat there and gave their hard-earned money to that woman over the last four years have been manipulated. That wasn't a, a sorry or a anything. That was just a kick in the teeth to them, I think. I, I did find it a bit bizarre, I have to say. Yeah, it was. It was absolutely bizarre. Um, yeah, she came up and, and, and stood on business or whatever what people want to call it. I mean, I'm from the North East, so a lot of these phrases and stuff that we don't use. But um, Well, I'm, she, I'm, I'm from South, so uh -huh. I, kind of get, I, I get some of them, but... <laughs> You'll find out as your son grows up, we're not as hip as what we used to be. Oh, definitely not. I only found out what gold meant a few weeks ago. <laughs> I didn't, well, I, did, I don't know what um, FYP stands for. Uh, yeah, oh, for you, Paige. Um, oh. <laughs> and then um, that guy came on with that video clip uh, about him. Now, that was... now. <laughs> that live... I mean, I had to really... I had to start shouting over people yesterday... <laughs> because the girl who came in who decided to shout at everybody saying that we should respect um, what Jem Zeno's just done, her and a girl, Torian, came in, proper going at this guy about this clip. Now, yeah. this clip was totally edited. Yeah, body slamming is... is yeah, I heard. Now, oh, yeah. don't get me wrong, I don't agree with anybody touching anybody, but what I also don't agree with is an absolute pitch, like pitchfork attack on somebody who's just been absolutely exploited. He didn't do it on TikTok. He didn't. That was his private life. A video that was like that was completely edited to yeah, show yeah. him in in the worst light. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. Who, who are we? We're not judging. Like we're not the the jury um, and yeah. executioner or whatever you call it. Who yeah. are we to send that man to Coventry? Well, I, I, that's what I was trying to say. I mean, we uh -huh. got we got a couple of girls down there on on my estate down there, and I'm not joking. If you saw the way she is like a crazed animal, 
Now, I'm sorry, and I've seen her go at Blake, and I can't, and I, like you, I don't agree with it, but I'm sorry, in today's society, girls think that they can go up and, and attack a man. Oh, and it's not right. I mean, I've got two older brothers, and if a girl was to attack them, I would expect my brother to lay them out. Yeah, out, Do you know what I mean? I really would. 100%, and that's what I was trying to get through. You know, it doesn't matter her size. We only saw what the edited clip wanted us to see, mm -hmm. which was to paint in in the worst light ever. Of course it was. And the, and the people who were saying, well, you should have just got in your van. And, oh, they, they're they not there. He the, There was children in that van, right? She's attacked him so many times. All he'd done was put her to the floor. And, maybe, and it looks worse because he is big, but he can't help his size and he can't help that that woman's attacking him and attacking him and attacking him. Now, that woman in the video actually came on live on TikTok when all of this kicked off and explained that she was being a crazed lunatic and attacking him. He's not like that. Yeah, and, they were, and, and so, but, but because... People on TikTok found a little clip. They'll just go, right, let's have him. They don't care about that person. They don't care about what's going on. They don't care about if that person's woke up that morning and thought that they can't live another day. They don't care. They that will just quiet. attack. You know that, you, you know that um, thing on Amazon? I swear every woman should watch that because what that man went through for 20 years... I am not joking. I, 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 I hats off to the bloke because I'd have killed her and buried her. <laughs> she, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, and like um, someone said, you know, she was hitting him round the head, attacking him in front of the kids, <laughs> held a knife to his throat. Yeah. And then wanted to play victim. And, and don't get me wrong, right? There are circumstances that people are attacked completely unjustified. Yeah. But sorry, if you're woman enough to go up to a man and bang him, he's quite within his right to bang your back. Definitely, a hundred percent, of course. And I believe that with any human being, like you know, and people go on about size and this, that, and the other. Two women, like, there's a, there's, my niece, she, she's a lot younger than me, she's nearly seven foot, like, she's, she's a, she's a really tall, big, heavy set girl, and, but nobody would say anything because we're two girls. Yeah. So the size has got nothing to do with it, it's just people just want to jump on the bandwagon. I, I think it's blatantly obvious when something isn't correct and it's abuse or it's it's been unjustified but people are, aren't aren't using no common sense on tiktok people are just putting things up and just running a million miles with it and i find it bizarre and these people are real who they're talking about these people are real we've all got one life and I don't understand how these people are coming on TikTok thinking they're a cut above the rest and just looking for bullshit to run around the app with for clout. That's it. That is just the top and bottom of it. And it's boring now, people. Everybody who's doing it just know it's boring. And we're just... No, sorry, they, they like just the sound of their own voice. I just want to say to Lashanti, yes, watch how you word thing. What, what? What have I said wrong? Sorry, I'm confused. In the comments, she's put, what's how you word thing? You I've might have said something that you might have had to change the word and of or something like so that because we're on TikTok, but oh, um, yeah, I'm okay. not sure. Yeah, um, but no, I mean, oh, the thing is, you've got to give the bloke like 100%. I mean, he came on it and he owned it. Oh, he certainly did. Uh, like, good on him. Do you know what I mean? I mean, how I, I, I found it awful. I mean, and there were being and that Liverpudlian girl as well, whoever she was in the corner, um, the, the Scouse girl, you know, it, it becomes bullying. It, it becomes to a point because they're just making snide comments to him then. And it was just a load of women, really. And I just had to pipe up. And I, it's really difficult. And it is hard to, to pipe up against so many people saying the same thing, but I had to for him because it's not right. Who the hell are we to sit there 
and make a judgment from an edited video clip and to shove it in people's faces, you're not allowed to do that. It wouldn't be allowed in a court of law. Do you know what I mean? If that was in a court of law, the jury would have had to leave and they would have had to get a new jury in because they've, they've been shown something that's not right, that's biased, and yes. that, can, that can sway people's instant opinion. And, well, and that's not it, correct. It, well, it's, it, it would it class as obstruction of justice. Oh, definitely. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to make it out to be... Yeah, like, and um, now that now you can't unsee that. So everybody's first impression of Boss Cali on there. I've never come across Boss Cali before. I mean, I'm not on TikTok. I've got like obviously a normal life, and I go around my day to day life. But I do like coming on TikTok. But I seem to be getting myself more and more involved because I can't. The place I loved to come to 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 relax, to switch off. I don't really watch TV. It's just turned into hell on earth. And I don't understand why. I don't understand why it has to be like this. It's just irritating, boring, annoying. I'm sick of seeing some of the same faces coming up, letting their mouth go, setting their agendas, setting their narratives, or just going or running off the back of somebody else's. So, so people who are running up big creators' asses and just running around the app with their narrative, they might, might not even believe what that big creator is saying deep down, but they'll go with it because they said so. And it's annoying. It, it, it is, it is, but it's nice that actually, like, we can have this daily antics and we can have a talk and we don't all have to agree, we, you know. Oh, no, definitely not. We don't all have to agree. We're all different people and that's the beauty of it, but at least we can, we've all got one thing in common, which is some common sense. Yes, absolutely. You when know, it comes down to things. Um, um, <laughs> you know, you've got children, I've got, I've got a child. I want my son to grow up in a world where people look out and care, loyalty, respect, yeah. morals. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, um, Ali Bakara, Ali Bakar, obviously she was saying about, um, you know, some parents, their kids are running riot um, while they're out working. And the other lady jumped on it. And I was a bit like, well, she was just saying, in her opinion, she, you know, she's, she's seen yeah. it happen. And she wasn't digging the, the parents out for working. What she's saying is, is that whilst the parents are having to work and work and work and work and work and not be there where their kids are, the kids are out running riot. Yeah. It's a catch-22 situation for everybody in the situation. And but, in, certain, in certain localities, mm -hmm. seen, obviously, there, there has been a lot of fatalities um in the country lately over i'm not allowed to say the word um crime um you know and unfortunately these days like queenie was uh, was it queenie you know kids are having to go to some some like school where they're being groomed and they're being pulled into gangs and running D-R-U-G-S. Um, am I, am there, was a girl, there was a girl in the box yesterday called Torian who I saw on a live attack this lady whose um, son was no longer here because of that type of crime. Oh, my God. Um, and she, oh, it was horrific. It made me feel sick. And, and she absolutely took the piss out of this woman. I'm not even going to repeat what she was doing, but she was just reenacting what happened to her child and laughing about it to in front of a face in front of and, and it was it was disgusting and no, then people it's not, it's, people it's big this and then there's this woman saying you are the goat tori and you are the goat no she's not no she's not no she's not at all she's another one on this app that's just running around running her mouth um and and has said some disgusting things yeah, but the thing is, I think, and this is what's wrong with technology, right? Well, our son hadn't passed away, right? So, uh, uh, sorry, uh, our son is still here, but he still got attacked in that type of way. Um, and she took the piss out of it. Yeah, but what I was about to say is behind computers... Sorry, uh, well, OK, she didn't, yeah. he didn't pass away. I understand that he didn't pass away. I thought he had, right? I couldn't watch the live long enough. Yeah. But he had yeah. been attacked in that way, so don't gasp. The fact of the matter is he got attacked in that way and the piss was took out of him. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and, and 
I think today's society, being on apps, being on computers, you can be anyone and you can, you can say quite a lot of stuff that can actually be really hurtful and disrespectful and that can then have a knock-on effect on people's mental health because lots of people have got mental health. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, it's all, you know, it's all... Oh, thank... Oh, Ewan, hello. Thank you, Ewan. You've got a shiny air balloon. Well, I did. You. Thank you, Ewan. Um, but you, do you know what I mean? I, I, I just think that, yeah... There just needs to be more regulation. Uh, you know, this internet safety law should be should be a lot more harsher than it is. I think because people shouldn't be allowed to do that. No. So, um, and and you know, there's too many too many young people losing their lives in this country, <laughs> and we need to. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. we need to stand up. And, and get, um, we g- need to get our country back to, to what it used to be, uh, the community, mm. you know? I think it's true. I mean, I don't, I don't know. The, the, the ladies that were in the, in the chat yesterday, all lovely ladies. I didn't agree with what some of them were saying. Um, I, didn't, I didn't feel as though they were going to let anybody speak. Um, but yesterday, the the kind of the, they took over that chat in the chain, and, and, and I, I don't I don't know. There was just something not right about how yes, yesterday's live ended up with those ladies. They were very very opinionated ladies, and I understand, but it wasn't like today where we can have a converse and we can chat and stuff like that. And I think that's what people need to do. People need to calm down. If the if that had have calmed down yesterday, more people could have spoke. I think more opinions could have been given, more versions of events could have been given, but we just had some really strong minded, strong thing um, that you, thing um, that you-